The word of our Lord that we consider this morning is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 7, where the Lord tells us, in him, Jesus, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. What a comforting truth we heard yesterday, that before God even created the world, he had picked you, he had picked me to be a part of his family. That's an amazing truth that displays such amazing grace. But then we think about the last day. And we humbly realize that the devil won more battles, temptation battles, than we did. How many times in the last day didn't the devil lead us to do things that we really didn't want to do? How many times didn't he keep us from doing things that we really wanted to do? The devil won so many battles and we feel so worthless again. Who am I? A sinner. What am I? Sinful. And we understand the results of that sinful nature and those sinful acts. Permanent, perpetual pain in a real place called hell. But then we remember these words of our Lord. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Realize what God has done for you. Appreciate that he redeemed you. In other words, when the devil captured you and led you astray with another temptation, God went after you and he delivered you, he saved you, he rescued you. When that sin was staining us, covering us, filling us with guilt and angering our God, God forgave us. He took our sins and threw them away as far as the east is from the west, not only removing them from his sight, but from his very memory. We're forgiven in a way that shows amazing grace. The blood of his son. The blood of his son that was drawn from his holy, precious body on Calvary's cross. Because of what Jesus Christ did for you, God says to you, you are forgiven. And please understand that this isn't something God was forced to do. We remember what our Savior Jesus said, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. We think of what we're told about our Savior Jesus, who for the joy before him endured the cross, scorning its shame. That wonderful truth. We're forgiven. And we realize just how, how much God loves us. We realize just how far God was willing to go to have us be a part of his family. He not only picked us, he bought us in a way that displays amazing grace through the death of his son, Jesus Christ. You are not worthless. God loves you. He picked you. He bought you to be a part of his family forever. You are the most precious person in God's sight. And we pray, Father, thank you so much for forgiving us, redeeming us through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give us strength and determination to live for you. And when we fail, forgive us and fill us once again with the joy of our salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.